JBJ is still making tea. I'm gonna hang that up for now. And uh, he said he was gonna go make some food too or whatever. So I sure, I'm sure he'll be right back. And in the meantime, I can get to work on uh, telling you what he has told me and getting those things loaded. So we have, uh... ah, there he is. Hey, Jay. Hey, Ryan, sorry about that. No, no problem. I should have uh, verified you were here before calling you up, but no big deal. We gotcha. All right, so as usual, um, why don't you uh, give a little intro to the decks you made this week while I get them uh, loaded into our system. All right, so we've got three decks to look at for this week, and hi, Mama. They're all um, standard 2020 decks. Um, they're all actually remarkably interesting and fun, given that it's a fairly limited format. That's kind of nice to see. Uh, the first deck that we're going to start with is a mono um, black deck that I really love. Um, it's just one of those decks that has a good feel to it. Um, it's basically all creatures. Um, I think the build you have is nothing but creatures and swamps. And it's incredibly competitive. Um, the deck just doesn't run out of gas, and it either rush beats the opponent or it runs them out of cards because it's full of discard. And weirdly, it features one of the um, new cards that came out. Um, it features um, the black card in particular, which is seems like just a grave digger. But at a two cost, having that raise dead that can raise itself is just incredibly strong. And not to mention, it gets back all your other creatures. And of course, if everybody remembers the old um, limited trick of grave digger to a grave digger, well, that works in constructed too. Endless chumps <laughs> at the very least. Um, endless chumps, but think about chum uh, pretend it was ravenous rats. But and there's this incredibly strong ravenous rat in this format. But what's even better, um, if you remember, there's we the call that a rat burglar around here. <laughs> yeah, um, but there's the three two that forces the opponent to sacrifice a planeswalker, and then you sacrifice a chump. And when you do that every turn, it's actually really exhausting to the opponent. Um, and at the higher end, it features these creatures that, sure, they're limited stars, but you wouldn't really think about them in Constructed, like the creature that does two points of damage every time you play a Swamp. Um, sure. You know, or the Cavalier to do the big kill, and of course to recur a creature when he goes to the graveyard. Um, anyway, that's the first deck. Um, the second deck is one that I don't know if you actually saw a friend of Brian and myself, Bill Stark, posted a blue-white deck, which was really interesting. Um, interesting because it's effectively Wrath of God every turn starting turn five, and you just need to survive to there. Yeah, is that this one here? Uh, that's, uh, well, um, yeah, build control. I, I am uh, on Jay's account, by the way, because I do not have the cards for the black deck he was talking about. I didn't complete that event for those uncommons, and we wanted to give it a try, so we're doing it from there. But this is the deck he's talking about now. Um, <clears throat> is this where Bill ended up, or is this where you modified it to? No, this is to? where I modified it to. I, Bill I, I really like the modifications. Did... Yeah, he cheated the man a little bit too much, yep. and not having the eternal, you know, the blue god is hard to imagine in a card with this many um, large casting cost instants. Um, it just, anyway, this is where I ended up. Um, it's not a dominating deck, but it is certainly over 50 50, and it is kind of fun. Yeah, I was winning a lot with it, actually. Um, um I was having I trouble was... with Simic Flash. Simic Flash can just get stuff down and then counter everything relevant that I try to do for the rest of the game, but basically any uh, Mono Red deck or the Blue White Skies deck were just dead to this deck. I, I would agree. It weirdly loses to the Black deck. <laughs> right. um, it can't handle infinite Ravenous Rats or similar. 
Um, and the last deck is this weird one that I saw a variant of in Standard, and I decided to see how it would translate. And the best I can call it is Control Junk. Um, it is the weirdest. If you could bring up, it's the one that's listed as 2020 Harry Control, because the name of the deck was Harry. <laughs> but it went 5-0. and oh. Yeah, open that up for a moment. Um, it is the weirdest assortment of stuff um, that you've ever seen. I mean, that it's a weird assortment over, of stuff. <laughs> I, it is all. What is over going on here, Jay? Um, well, it's mana accelerating um, because it's got incredible mana acceleration for um, a control deck, and it's just got really good cards. Uh, nice. um, and Ooh, in a weird see. way, it just kind of works. Um, it's a blast to play because you're kind of all over the place. And, you you know, because of the acceleration and because of the other good card, you really win through your five and six cost stuff. I mean, you get out of Nyssa and then you play um, the Casualties of War card or, you know, just other crazy stuff, you know, a huge Hydralisk <clears throat> or... Janky good stuff? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's weird, but it does well, and it's just fun. Um, uh, how, uh, how's the audio now? I, I turned Jay down a little bit, but uh, maybe it's still... Uh, if we're still off, let me know. <clears throat> Tried to tweak a little bit. Uh, anyway, let's go... Uh, let's, let's get that black deck uh, in people's hands. It's not up on the... Uh, Let's see, where's the mono black 2020? Is that this? Yeah, mono, um, it's the black 2020 oh, here black, black slide. Here we go. Yeah, uh, it actually hits a really a near perfect mana curve. So here's the deck we're talking about, uh, the, the mono black slide. And what we're going to do here, I'll go back uh, to decks and I'm going to export this. I'm going to put it in a quick. Yeah, I had it in, yeah, there's a copy of it on the Goldfish, but not in Stream Decker. Oh, well, we didn't see it on Goldfish, I, or at least maybe did it have uh, Brewing Optimal in the title? Yeah, hmm. um, I sent it, it's in the link in the articles uh, that I sent you. Uh, well, it's going to be up here in a second anyway, uh, so no worries. Um, mono Black, I, I like getting it into Stream Decker anyway. So let's do that. And we'll start there. That sounds great. Uh, but, you know, all these decks, I mean, this format is really hard. Um, it's hard to have much above a 50% to the high level. Um, I've been lurking at the top of Diamond for what feels like forever. In actuality, it's just this last week. Um, but these decks have all done solidly, and um, as for the priest not seeming that great, you're probably right. Um, and from the question, um, in the channel, um, that is partly why there's two of them, but two of them seem to be working about right. And I didn't have a better substitute. Well, maybe we'll figure one out. Hold on. Let me save this. One yeah. Too. I mean, I'm really open to suggestions, but it needs to be a low casting cost drop. Okay, we'll start there. All right, uh, so now we have uh, Stream Decker should have the mono black loaded up. There you go. So you can get that list from there if you didn't see it on the uh, goldfish. And then what do you want to do? Should we go, oh, play standard 2020, of course. Yeah. Of course. Oh, and where's our audio volume here? Now we can go up a little here because I went. And now I'm not hearing that at all. Well, uh, yeah. Is it just? I'm gonna try cranking this volume just to see if it's about the different levels that I've been setting things at. We go to full blast. Hmm. I don't know why um, it's as, not. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I don't know why it's not giving us any audio. 
Boo. I like the audio. All right. We'll play without it, though. I... Looks like a keep. Anyway, yeah, it's a keep. Um, you know, you like having a little more land than you might expect um, in this one, but it's okay. It's 24 swamps. Um, basically, you're about to get into a race fight, and that's okay. Um, if you get to five, it'll be yours because you have the dominating creature up at the top. Uh, your Cavaliers, off, you know, it's hard to beat a 4-5 uh, Necrotal. Hmm. Lurker or Priest? Um, I would priest probably up, drop the Priest um, because, you know, you want to activate it maybe on the next turn. Yeah, they're not going to block here, right? So we can attack here. Uh, yeah, I right. would attack here. I don't care. I mean, yeah, you should have technically probably attacked first, but whatever. Interesting. Uh, that is interesting and a little crazy. Um, <clears throat> the muting of the uh, uh, state of the game audio was actually unmuting my... What I needed to do there was... What I do is I turn off... Uh, sound. Sorry, no blocks. I turn off sound on uh, web pages while I stream, and then needed to turn it back on in order to see that video. So it's not that I turned sound off with that move. I actually turned sound on. So you have an interesting. I think you attack with the priest here and get the two one back. Oh, you've got. Oh, blah. You also have the three two. Yeah, I think we do the uh, reaper, right? It's a. Uh, both are good. Um, I'm going to do Reaper. Sure. Do the Reaper. That way you can get the Reaper dead so that you can draw land. Yep. Really, it's just you win if you draw nothing but lands at this point. Mm -hmm. This just puts it over like, the top. Yeah. Well, and look this. at that. Look at your top end. You've drawn your top end and they multiply. And this stuff's just crazy. That's not bad for us. No, that's actually really good for you. And Not you and you top deck correctly. Yeah, so we just want Dread Presence at this point, or Spawn? I would swing. Yeah, swing, see what they do. They're going to block. Swing, see what they do. Oh, that's great, too. Keeping their creatures minimized is a... Not there. Well... well do um, that. I... This? Uh, I don't know. I think this Spawn's pretty good. Get the Spawn out, maybe, or... They're all good. Because we can, we can Fen Lurker and Gutter Bones... That's uh, uh, you can't you gutter bones is two to bring back. From well, the two to, we bring it back now and then uh, play this now and then cast this next turn is my thinking. Um, oh, um, actually, that's not a bad thought. Um, you because it gets them the, while they're you know. Yeah, get the gutter bones down and drop out the one one discard. Yeah. yeah, I think that's a good plan. Get a card out of their hand and get something ready to sacrifice to the yeah, five. Yeah, right. Now, we got the Reaper out, so we can just chump with the Lurker if we want. Right. Um, Eating up their hand a bit is nice. I'm not sure I would chump, and honestly, you got 15 life. It's crazy that Mono Black can be a good deck right now. Thank you. <laughs> and it's hey good job don't block no block <laughs> win game instead all right so do you like presents play a swamp kill the pet pelt collector we got cavaliers we can drop um, um you know i would kill with um the dread presence so play the presence drop a swamp kill the small one um and then on the next turn play the cavalier <laughs> that was enough uh, and this happens a lot you drop out a presence and they scoop uh what's even the only thing better than one presence is two presences oh gosh i can't even imagine yeah well i can't imagine it makes me say oh gosh all right, I'm gonna go NA. Oh God. Let me update this stuff that we got for Matt. Isn't that nice and fun to play? I mean, just some decks, you know, just to play smoothly, and this deck just rolls nicely. The uh, <laughs> the the feeling of 
mana consistency from a mono deck is very nice. Um, Bruce, regarding Orzhov Enforcer, um, you're probably... No, you're probably... I know you're right that it's a solid card in here, and it might be a reasonable replacement if you hate the priest. Um, you know, I'm sort of mixed on the priest. Um, it gives you some cool tricks. That's part of why I have it here, but um, the Enforcer is certainly a good call, especially if you feel like the deck's a little top-heavy. And you could argue that it could remove a couple of the four or five drops. So don't think of it as a bad choice. Just think of it as a choice that's going to be super metagame dependent. If you need more early defense, hard to argue. I mean, a 1-2 Death Touch with Afterlife is pretty strong. And this, speaking of pretty strong, uh, this yeah. hand looks like a winner. I think we'll keep. Yeah. This card's dumb. How is Order of Midnight just crazy great? I mean, I guess it's when you have a knight to get back. I guess when knight is undercosted by two, raise dead is a great card. So let's so just here, run out the other one. Just run out the other knight. Because then no, next turn we get to buff them both if they don't have an answer. Sure, and if they do, then you play out um, the midnight and uh, they still don't have an answer. Because you turn them into card draws plus. Baboo. Although if they ditch the midnight, okay. If they ditch the reaper, we get to get it back with midnight. Right. So their best call is to get rid of the midnight, um, which is also pretty crazy. So now you hope for another midnight. Uh, do we, we could play the Reaper, but I like kind of pumping and getting I, these pump, guys big, pump, right? Get them over the, um, call level. Right. You don't want them to get wiped out by a minus two. If they want to kill them, make them use a forecasting cost spell. So I think you swing first, and I mean, I guess it, it doesn't really matter. Um, wow, you've got a lot of good things yeah, here. Yeah, we can do double lurker. I think we can just go double lurker. Uh, well, I mean, let's. What's the best they can have here? Some sort of four drop uh, wrath, right? Four drop wrath. Does that exist? Yeah, no, no pump here. Um, there's a couple of them. They could do Ritual, the black one, or Kayla's. So Reaper, then, to protect against Wrathing? I think I would. Um, it's a conservative play, but I think you're... Yeah, I like it. Also, really... they, they have a fistful. It's not like we're going to run out of opportunities to strip cards from their hand. Yeah. Um, as I said, it, it's more the Kaya's conservative Wrath could call. play here. Kaya's I don't know why Wrath. I forgot about that Wrath. I guess it's because I've been playing Bill's deck so much that I feel like there's only two Wraths in the format. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, there's uh, two others. Let's see, there we go. There's one of them. Good call, Jay. Getting to rebuild here. Hey, look, it's gas. <laughs> so why don't you take two more of their cards, because they have way too many. Yeah, it'll make it easier for them to think about things to it will. get rid of some of the options. First card's going to be easy. Second one's one they're not going to like. Ditching the land. <clears throat> now, one thing that's interesting about this deck, you don't want to play those other two lands basically forever. Right. We want to least. save that for the Dread Presence. Right. Mm -hmm. There's the Carnarium that we were correctly playing around with that pump before. Sure. And right on cue, we have Dread Presence. Uh, do we just go to the face here? Or draw um, cards? I, no, draw a card. Draw a card. You can kill them next turn from the face from whatever you draw. Draw a card, lose a life. You see? Now when they play their Planeswalker, you can take it out. All right on cue. Boy, we could just take it out with... I guess uh, I would take it out. Yeah, I'd just take Dread it out Presence. with the Swamp. Oh, and we get a Lurker. Okay, so we go Dread Presence. 
Yeah, Dread Presence. Swamp um, the Teferi? I swamp a card. No, draw a card. No, just keep drawing cards. We just don't care about Teferi. I don't think we do right here. I mean, we do care about a card, but we want their card. thing is teferi doesn't do much right now like they're gonna plus it and who cares just doesn't yeah. actually do much i mean they're only out to have a third wrath. oh they do have a third wrath yeah that was a perfect card for them I to have it draw perfect so let's uh uh they don't have an answer to your cat no you, you don't need to all right sorry i just have it um, right. let's look at this calf. So when it enters, Sack Knight, uh, if you turn, you know, so that's just a four or five lifelink, and when it dies, uh, it we get, get to bring something back. Okay. And Lily can't make that happen anyway. They, all they can really do here is make a 2-2 two -two zombie and plus Teferi. So yeah, we'll just uh, do a Cavalier straight up. Do a straight up Cavalier. I mean, they have nothing in their hand. Well, this isn't obvious, because if we attack one of the Planeswalkers, they get to chump with the 2-2, and Lily gets to draw a card. We could Plague Crafter. They probably just let Teferi go? Uh, no, they have, they let the 2 Well, I would. If I were them, I'd just let Teferi go and protect Lily here. Play the Plague Crafter. That way they have to make a mistake. Yeah, sure. Um, or give, give him a chance. Oh, you don't keep the Cavalier necessarily. Mm, yeah, we could have the Cavalier die. Don't um, attack with the Cavalier first. Mm -hmm. Attack with the Cavalier. Then play the Plague Crafter. Don't keep the Cavalier. Sure. Then we get something back. Uh, then you can get back something, you know, whether it's um, a discard thing or... Oh, actually, you get the Recursion guy back. Dread Presence? Or, uh, no, no, this guy. no, the new one. The... No, the order, which then gives you the dread presence. Oh, this order, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> the right, that one. So now you play the this one. Oh, it comes into play. Ah, uh, thank you, Gecko. Ah, uh, that's right. We don't get it back to hand. Well, still, still, still probably want to do back. this. Well, you, yeah, I think you still want to. I still think you sack the Cavalier. See what they sacrifice, because that's going to inform you. Uh, Reaper, then? Or do you uh, want to strip their good. card? I think we want cards more than they do. Mm -hmm. Our cards are better than theirs. Which is kind of a weird thing to say. Yeah, they've just got Liliana, six-mana Lily. Right. <clears throat> no big deal. That is the card you want. Because order does get order. Is this the first time you're casting one of these? Uh, Ryan, Sorry, I got muted. Uh, yeah, yeah, I play. I played this in the brawl event that they had. Uh, oh, okay. So but have, um, what what is our? Do we want to? Um, I would order to order. Order to order, and then do it again. Okay, sure. It's kind of the double grave digger you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, and now you've got five. One thing you could do is you could drop out an order in a midnight. Although, yeah, they can't sac they can't do it without killing their Liliana. And if they want to do that, that's fine. So drop out an order yeah, and drop a out point. a midnight. <clears throat> uh, that's this no, one. No, no, right? no that one. Wait, this one. Yeah. yeah, this one. One from exile. The one from exile. And yeah, if they go up and just hold your lands, and isn't that amazing how that rebuilds? 
Mm-hmm. What you coming for, Oath? Oh, good chop deck. It doesn't really they... matter. We just get yeah, we you just get fly. Let's get that back again. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, drawn a lot of land, a little too much. That's okay. Let's see, you know, as soon as they give us a brief a breath for a second. Um, I think you still go order to order. Yep. Liking that play a lot. Mm-hmm. You know, do another order for we got another Reaper. You get two Reapers going. That seems really uh, strong. That actually seems really strong. <laughs> just do it and just do stuff until they and scoop. that's what they do isn't that crazy they just got beaten by a jank grave digger <laughs> i don't know I'll, I'll, i'm just gonna call it a grave digger i don't know uh, it seems very good that card is very good it's a four cost grave it's a it's a grave digger yeah it's a two two can't block flyer a, a uh grave digger in uh but flying a flying installment plan grave digger is what it is uh, it, it is but isn't that just amazing how that all pulls together? It really did. Yeah, I think they just saw the writing on the card advantage wall and didn't feel like they could get there. And to be honest, being on the other side of that, I could never could. Um, I saw a variant on this combo. It was like, oh my, there's this awesome deck here. I think the one I was playing against was black-white, and I couldn't get to the bottom of it. And, hey, look, it's another great hand. All right. Um, Fanatic, I probably wouldn't have scooped that early, but this was going to be no fun for them in their best case. Um, if you remember right now, they have very few kill conditions. That Liliana was about it. Um, I probably would have dropped the gutter bones out just as a quick comment. Yeah, I was thinking about that after I did it. There was something about how, like, one of the one of the reasons, one of the things that went through my head. Sorry, I'm talking and competing with our meme, but one of the things that went through my head was, um, oh, if they're playing red, they probably have shocks, and they'll shock the knight, and then I'll be super happy to order. But they and they might not shock the gutter bones. That was what my thinking was, but. But you're not dropping the gutter bones. I mean, you, the gutter bones, you know, they have to kill something else first. Well, I'm that just saying bone, if they had, it, like, they might not bother oh, to shock the gutter bones if they had I, been playing real. No, I understand. Anyway, um, swing and then gutter bones. Yeah. I mean, I think you've already got a handle on the deck because, you know, you see where turn three is going. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Um, so the blue-white fight, which you're in right now, the skies is crazy. You just race them. Well, the race is on. <laughs> it is. And they have their near-perfect draw. We can play Crafter from here instead of pumping if we wanted to make him take out a miscreant. But I guess we I'll, just, no, I we just attack and pump. first and see what we get. Sure. Uh I figure trading off gutter bones is fine. Uh, if we pump here and then that now you don't grow. We don't grow. Okay. We're going to play crafter. You, well, um, so <clears throat> actually, you could just put gutter uh, bones back out. Yeah. Is that good enough? I think it is. I mean, that's probably what I would go with. Well, maybe we just let's we can just order it though and put it out as well. And then, although it's this, it just wastes a card. Never mind. It's fancy, yeah. fancy play syndrome. Sorry, I was just. I'm excited to try and use these. So <laughs> it's like, how, yeah. how do we I use mean, this? They're, they're going to be plenty good in a moment. And as it is, you just got card. I'm uh, not card advantage, but something like card weird card parity or. Ooh. Now I want to pump because we can get them both pumped. I'm going to do this. Well, you can hold it. You don't have to drop it out of me. Oh, that's right. I was thinking it had to be at the time, but it's end of turn. You're right. Right. That was I. 
you gave my you hand gave a little bit without uh, and now they're gonna block yeah. and that may be good because hey, if want they want to block. Buy, block the knight here that's fine yeah it looks like they're no, just no, going i think for the they want anyway. the gutter bones here well they didn't block either but uh, if they block gutter bones we still pump and the and we still get four damage that's all i was saying like we the, yeah. the plan still works yeah but yes, uh, it's kind mean? of like looking okay, okay for us. But basically, if uh, if they drop an eagle or the uh, wing, the wing instant that buffs everything up, like we could easily take twelve here. Although we're, st we're, st we're still alive. But yeah, this is the your. Yeah, this is the race. The race. And these can't block, so. So swing first. Swing first. See what they want to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the angel that can be cheated into play uh, off four flyers is often usually a one of, or sometimes maybe a two of in this deck. Uh, even three, but I mean, you, know, you hopefully want a cavalier. Of course, you don't have one to handle that. Hmm. That is your answer. So two, three, four, five, six. We go to nine, but then then we're just they're basically saying we're dead on the backswing with this non-block. Um, so they may have lethal on the backside. So so we have to play crafter and just hope that it. Uh, you have to play takes crafter. And hopes it makes the difference because they're certainly dead on the next swing anyway. Um, yeah, might as well do it the elegant way. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three, four. They have sixteen. If they have, okay, they didn't. <clears throat> I was waiting for that instant. Fen lurker, interesting, uh, but starts with an attack. All at face. See mm -hmm. how they block. There's definitely no time to mess around with other things. All right, now we can do some stuff. Too bad we don't have one more land. We had five land. We could do things like uh, order back the Plague Crafter. Um, as it is with four, I think I like... Well, is there, if we get back Plague Crafter, it sets us up potentially for next turn to drop that pre-combat. So um, I would do something unusual here. Oh yeah, I you, think I would drop out the 2-2 two, two Flyer. I'll just go um, Skies. And, uh, well, 2-2 two, two Flyer and, and the Discard 1-1. One, one. All right. Take your line. Let's start here, though. Um. <clears throat> You know, that's never something they want to see. What did they lose? Uh, uh, the two one that can't attack or block alone. Okay. Yeah, just put up the play it normal. Now that's something you can't do with a grave digger. Right. <laughs> play it as a two two flyer for two. Right. And don't forget this one one you have pumps. Although interesting that they did give this no blocking to prevent the exact grave digger kind of cycling you're talking about, at mm -hmm. least as a useful tool for that situation. Nine, and now three, you four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Technically, we have uh, quote lethal, but that does not seem realistic here. Swing and see what they don't. Or uh, the extra man it doesn't really matter. So yeah, swing and see what they don't block. But I swear I clicked I'm guessing all. Instance. <laughs> There was a weird lag click there. I promise you I was like clicking on the thing that said attack all and then suddenly we weren't attacking and are ending our turn. So not sure what happened there. Frustrating. Oh, we lost our attack? Yeah, this uh, was a nice tight game okay. and then a miss. Get back the, the grave digger. Yeah. I get back to the plague crafter. Sorry. Plague crafter. You're you know. Yeah. In emergency mode. So get back to the hopefully the sacrifice of, you know, hopefully you know, sack the one one. Oppo's like, what is he up to? Why did he attack? 
or lag clicking. It was definitely a lag click. Like, look, I don't know. I have to look at the video. Ah, but I that's really... what they have. That was their trick. <clears throat> well, that kind of is enough now, isn't it? Uh, well, no, there's, no. Uh, we're no, hanging you're... on at one. Hanging on at one. All right, dead. Well, that would have been interesting if we'd been able to attack last turn, but I don't actually think it would have changed it. We didn't get him dead there. Do we, I found well, we forced some blocks. No, no, yeah, we forced some blocks. Yeah, so I'm gonna give that one up to uh, lag, lag click. That's unfortunate. Let's see if we can get there well, again. Play one more, and then we have two other awesome decks to play with. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, you'll have this deck basically. Uh, hopefully, you'll get these cards in a few days, and. I'm sort of excited to see where this deck goes to with Throne. Yeah, you know, we don't... I mean, this, is, there might be other this stuff. is crazy good. How long has it been since you've been able to play Mono Color? Um, other than Red. Well, there's Mono White that's been good. But the last time yeah, I've been able to did. play Mono Black and it's been good was like uh, Necro Winter, I think. <laughs> or Necro Summer, was it? Yeah. So this is a super awesome fight. I love fighting against this because you're just faster. Yeah, I forget what the black land does, but are you gonna pop the black land into this one? The uh, there looks like some some sweet monocolored lands in the rare slot in this set. I saw the blue one. I haven't seen. Uh, yeah, drop the land in a charge. I haven't seen what the uh, black one does. Yeah, Croker's right. Mono Blue's been good, too. Uh, I think the uh, the cycle of... And there's been Mono Green. Like, uh, basically, uh, Mono Black has been the only 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 not viable mono color. So maybe it's like... It's just late to the party. I'm here, guys! Oh, uh, yeah. Black rare land draws a card. Is that for four and tapping? Black, black two, tap, draw, draw one, take one, I assume. Black doesn't get to draw cards without pain, right? It is the late show with Jay. East, you are correct. So you've got interesting things to do here. Um, I think you just play a land and charge them you know they're not they can't block and if so you, you're probably not going to pump so that their deck doesn't have removal so you can um, easily drop out the dread presence do you want to just drop out the plague crafter make him lose the pilgrim and then dread presence with the land next turn though oh because they could Golos. Oh, wait, Golos is seven? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, they could Golos next turn um, if we don't kill are it. Are they... Yeah, they're not They're not playing the all-gate version. That's what I was wondering. So, well, they have a lot of gates. They might be playing um, the gate removal. Um, how many gates do they have out? Uh, one, two, three. Three is sort of a bad number for us to risk. Um, kind of a toss up. Um, you know, either Plague Crafter or Dread Presence. You know, whatever you feel like. I'm gonna go with Plague Crafter then, just because that was my gut here. Sure, go um, for it. <clears throat> it's a solid play. I mean, you know, you're. It's not like you don't have Graveyard Recursion. And we're gonna keep the Knight around, I think, and ditch the Crafter. Oh, a double lurker on their two of their oh, last three. Oh, wait, 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 hold that land, that. hold that land. Yeah, I held it, I held it. <laughs> Although we do, yes. yes. You are correct in the play, but don't drop the land. I just can't help it. I'm, I'm such a <gasps> impatient land dropper. I, I've, uh, as, as viewers know, I have played the wrong land before. It is so weird to, no, I, I get it. It's weird to get in the habit of not doing this. Now you get to see the frowny face. Well, we got two more lands, so maybe they maybe they uh, had only one good card anyway. Let's see what it and was. And set up for a Cavalier if they have the Hydroid. Mm -hmm. 
They kept the hey, gates ablaze. You were right about you were right on the gates. Good call. Yeah. All right. So let's go now though. Red peasants draw a card. Okay, fair enough. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hey, there you go. Yeah, Angel just isn't really enough here. If you draw, oh, look at that. Kill the angel. Kill the angel. How awesome is that? You've probably waited your whole life to do that. It's a weird UI when you have two of them. Uh, I did this in Limited. Oh, cool. I didn't know you've ever had double presence in Limited. I didn't. I had Dread Presence and an Evolving Wilds. Ah, well. Or... So I played the Evolving Wilds, waited a turn, then dropped a swamp and s fetched a swamp on the same turn. Uh, sure, I like drawing two cards. That seems fair. Play a swamp, draw two cards. I'll attack first and then figure out. Yeah. Actually, attack first, wait for Oppo to scoop is usually how it goes here. Uh, we can get back a Fen Lurker and use it. I kind of like would... that. Oh, that actually is, that would be fun, wouldn't it? Although they're, they're probably sandbagging useless stuff uh, since, sure since but that's okay it. you've got seven mana that's enough to do that and to drop out the midnight all right i mean don't cast the you know don't cast the creature part of it but yeah knock out a card out of their hand because you should have a pumper on the table and besides they should really feel the pain <laughs> you do not get cards stop trying to hold them because besides, how often do they get the chance to lose to a raised dead? An overcosted raised dead. Uh, they couldn't cast that right now anyway. All right. Even if they have uh, Gates Ablaze, we're in okay shape here. Mm -hmm. Field of the Dead begins. That's okay. You have a really good answer because your lands are as good as theirs. Better even right now. Mm-hmm. funny we get to take that whatever that is and uh, uh you 187 their creature with the cavalier with the cavalier well, let's start i want to start with the fen lurker see what they get rid yeah, of see what they get rid of uh, this will give you more information in case they have a trick also we can use the summoning sick they fen could lurker. have the uh, instant wrath also um the flame whatever Man, this deck's going off. It's funny. Isn't this deck crazy? I mean, mono black. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. Sure. What a world. And top but, deck. So let's do this. Do and that. I'm gonna, I don't know. There's a lot of things we could do, but I'm going to go at Jace's face just so nothing happens to us there. Uh, they have no cards in hand. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's going to happen. Um, don't forget to swing one of them into Jace. Yep. There we go. I think we got this. I think so. Although they can Probably. draw against a blaze and not be dead dead if we draw. Uh, yeah, you've got card protection, though. Yeah. On the table. Exactly. That's what I mean. They wouldn't be dead dead, but we'd draw five. I think we'd be all right with that result. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We've got hey, Plague Crafter. Kill their creatures. What's that? Play Swamp, kill both. Oh, yeah. Sure. I'm overthinking. So many options. Better than cats. You can play it again and again. How are you feeling, Oppo? <laughs> that's how I would be feeling in your spot. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. Nice. Yeah, that's powerful. Okay. Uh, so I thought powerful you could feels good. this deck. This is why I wanted to get you onto my account just to play with it. Yeah, I understand. Sure. Um, okay. You want to hop over to another one? Let's go with um, yeah, let's... the... Let's swap into some control for a bit. Okay. Um, the hyper blue-white. Yeah, the Bills control is a good call. And then we'll finish up with that weird control-ish jank thing. Uh, I'm going to play like uh, one game with this because I... I pl uh, 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 one or two. Uh, I did play the uh, Bills unedited version on stream a little bit earlier this week, so people have uh, who watched earlier have seen it but oh, okay uh 
But we'll play a, one or two at least. I also um, like I, I like your changes. I think you made it better. I agree, fanatic. Um, he, yes, that's one of the neat insights from this uh, deck that your swamps become better than their fields. R and D's got you, Stream Daddy. They track all sorts of things about what kinds of rares are in uh, the the rare density, the rare and mythic density in the most popular decks and everything. So, <clears throat> by design. Well, fine. that's about your perfect start for this deck. Yeah, as long as you have to ferry, the deck feels really good. Yeah, we're missing. You like to do an anticipate or. Uh, uh, was it shimmer? Uh, the, it's something like that. Shifting probabilities. No, it's definitely not that, but it's something. Oh, no? Yeah. It's like sh shimmering something. It's shimmering something, right? Well, the one that's draw four. And I noticed you uh, took those from uh, four anticipate and four shimmer. I dropped them to, down to three of to three. three of each. Should it be four? And I two? added a land. Is one of them. Isn't, I kind of feel like drawing four is almost just yeah. better because of the Teferi. So maybe it should be four of those and two anticipate. Maybe, um, except having an instant can really be nice. So it was a toss up. I just did three, three because I was really trying to show the deck and show the balance. I'm going Narset here because Oppo isn't doing anything and may as well. Well, it's going to, it turns off their ability to um, <laughs> play their instant to draw right, a card. You're before. using way too many t words. It turns off their yeah. ability to play. Done. Yeah, yeah they lose. <laughs> they see that. So I really do think we need to play a second yes, one. Yes, we will not decks. call that our uh, our time with that deck. Yeah, Stream Daddy, that's the idea. You're saying I wish you could buy rare wild cards with gems or something. Uh, initially, the rate at which wild cards spit out of packs was random enough that it didn't feel reliable to people. So that's why they have the track now. And you know exactly minimum or, or, or maximum. You know maximum how many it will take to get the wild card that you want. But it is basically buying boosters is buying wild cards. Agent of Treachery is really fun in this deck. Uh, if you can time wipe bouncing your Agent of Treachery, that usually gets a scoop. Uh, um, Agent of Treachery, uh, sorry, uh, time wipe also works well with uh, the... Uh, uh, this is going to be a very hard fight for you. Oh, we got it. The super aggro is going to be challenging. Nah, but... we got it. We're going to crush him. Well, you've got the life no land, fear. and that'll help. And we'll anticipate here. Oh, yeah. And we can wait. Well, yeah. Might as well scare him. It almost doesn't matter, but might make him rethink. I really hate relying a lot on that. Um, the warrant warden um, thing to for early defense. Mm -hmm. It's pretty janky. Yeah, I agree. I don't know anything better. They're still in here, but it's an awfully um, thin defense. Stream Daddy says their uh, six packs for one guaranteed rare wild card just seems so bad. I mean, it can seem so bad, but also, like, what do you expect to pay for a magic deck, I guess, is the fundamental question. And, and digitally, I'm not saying you're right or wrong. I'm just saying that's the fundamental question is not the rate at which you acquire wild cards. It's how much you think is fair to pay for a given deck, right? So I think you have to get a deputy here. Uh, yeah, that's what I, I was... Well, actually, you can't, though. You've got to go with a warrant and... Well, we've got a yeah. lot of land. Um, but why doesn't dep deputies fine? Because they're going to sacrifice and make you sack yours. Oh, I suppose that's true. Oh, actually, well, you can drop yours out while there's... Well... This... Yeah. I had to make a choice. So... I'm going to take it. We're also at a healthy life total. I might just... Uh... Yeah, Try I guess and get to time while, Yeah, drop it out, 
let them sack everything and kill it and prep for the timeline. Right, they just do some stuff. They, the, we spin our wheels a bit, they spin their wheels a bit, but in the end of the day, that's good. And we can also just take out the priest. I guess they do it in response. Right. Do it now, and they'll do it in response. And that's what we. That's the goal anyway. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> the only thing you're going to get is um, the sacrifice effect. So, just force it. Or they can just let it happen. Okay. That's weird. Really? They must have removal they're going to use there. They don't want they didn't want to do it that way. That's kind of crazy. Uh, good for you. That's all I can say. Yeah. That increased our chances to win this game. Right. Indestructible uh, on the afterlife is unfortunate. Uh, okay. You bought it. You lived another turn. Mm hmm. And I wasn't so sure that was going to happen. And we don't have anything to play here, so I'm just going to play the tap land and Perfect. hold. Yeah, tap land, hold, make them think you're <clears throat> going to do something. Agent of Treachery is really important to this deck. Like, it doesn't have a lot of raw answers to Planeswalkers in terms of, like, counterspells or Oblivion Ring type effects. But uh, Planar Cleansing takes care of Planeswalkers, and Agent of Treachery turns them against them. So I like their attack here because we get to... Do they oh, do no, indestructible? They, they did indestructible there. Yeah, we don't. We just uh, uh, take, Block take one of their bones. Yeah, take a bone. Really wanted to kill this though, so that our time wipe wipes their entire board instead of leaving them with creatures behind. Well, they're still going to have Gideon, which is the real issue, right? Uh, although they go, oh, let's see, we take four, five, deck. six. Hmm. Is it enough, though? Yeah, it's not going to be enough, because we time wipe here. No, we get deputy back, so that's, that is good. We're going to take one hit, but then we can deputy their Gideon. Well, I was wondering if you hold back and warrant Warden. Wait, 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 you okay. don't have to cast it here. Well, What if you warrant um, their Gideon, Gideon? Block the other one. Block one of these two and take four? And take four. The other plan you've got is to take six. Okay. Um, this one, I think, gives you gives them more chances to mess up. And yeah, uh, it, with the conversation for... going on in chat, I just want to say again, like, I'm not telling anybody how to value magic cards. I'm just saying that's the fundamental question. And then you got to answer it for yourself. Uh, warrant first. Oh. Well, I just oh. setting the block and now we can do it. Woof, that's actually tough because they get a lot of attackers in the air, although only three. We go to one. We mm -hmm. go to one, and then we have Agent of... Tr oh, we have Time Wipe plus Warrant for the Gideon. So we're not dead dead. We are, You're not dead we are dead. In fact, You're, your friend You're still is alive only mostly with a clear board. dead. We are, we are kind of mostly dead, but mostly one is not zero. To One is not zero. Let's... Go for it. Uh, see how it doesn't we did. really matter at this point. We'll just do this and time wipe here. Mm -hmm. Or again, we can do deputy uh, follow on Gideon. Living <clears throat> on a prayer. That doesn't let us do both. So we're probably on the same plan. Uh, time wipe plus warrant Gideon. Mm -hmm. no, that that works. Uh, there's there's a suggestion of um, we can just uh, detention. We can detention these right now over uh, Gideon, and I like that. Oh, that's that's a great idea. I should have commented. Uh, good call from whoever. 
Then uh, by blocking Gideon, we prevent gutter bones, or we can just warrant Gideon again. I think you just warrant Gideon. Because we have uh, time wipe uh, brings back the deputy for a recast there. Warrant Gideon, um, because you know you definitely warrant Gideon. Because uh, then you can drop an agent in basically no time, and then you can bring it back with the time wipe. Uh, so do you like? Because uh, we could wipe here and bring back deputy that creates oh. a then we're dead though okay so i guess we actually maybe take the uh hunted the, witness i think so all right the old agent of treachery the one drop that's what we're doing that, here it's out of the land and i could attack with the deputy but life just doesn't matter I, oh I, yeah it does swing <sighs> what, what would that get me i'm just uh, one I'm just i'm just afraid oh that's kind of neat on their part I've just never had a game with this deck come down to, uh, if only I had gotten one more damage in. Like, I just take, a, like, I don't think I've ever gotten anybody to zero. I l literally don't think I've reduced a life total to zero with <laughs> with Bill's deck. Um, so, I think you want uh, Massacre Girl. Yeah, just take it. Just take it. And then, uh, well, we could have uh, gone so Shimmer for the land, but that's okay. Yeah. A Shimmer of Possibility. That's what the card's called. And... Kill Gideon? Can't quite... Oh, yeah, I guess we can kill Gideon, but kill then, Gideon. We're... then Then wipe? Then kill wipe Gideon. and get your agent back. All right, well, let's... I also want to see... Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, don't have it. Can't can't Shimmer. All right. No, we could. Uh, shimmer yeah. and Time White both work. So I'm going to Shimmer first, just to make sure it doesn't sure. change anything. Shimmer first. It might be something awesome that we're forgetting. Uh, God Eternal, Plane of Cleansing, or Deputy? Oh, God Eternal. You like God Eternal? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, well, God Eternal, you don't need to uh, uh, wrath immediately. Mm -hmm. We, you may just have dominant position, and then you'll wish you had that one point of damage. No, I won't. You'll see. It's not going to matter. I, you want to bet right now that it won't matter no. because they're going to concede before we get them under fifteen. <laughs> well, drop out of God Eternal, and we'll see if they can do that for you. Actually, we're at one. Most people will get pretty. Uh, Pretty, like, ah, we gotta be able to get him from one. Yeah, dead to removal. We took the chance, but had to get rid of Gideon, so. But we knew their hand. Uh, did volume just drop? Uh, not for no. me, but okay. we're all hearing things a little differently, which is what makes tech support so difficult for me on this stream sometimes. Um... Are we just keeping these on the ground and sending Kefnet till they give up? I think um, so. Um, is this one of the, you know, yeah. Yeah, I've been having weird audio issues that I cannot explain. Yeah, we could time wipe and bring back Agent and eventually get the god back. Uh, but time wipe, they now have the ability to sacrifice and keep this as indestructible, so we'd actually just lose. <laughs> so we shouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. My mic, huh? Well, it's possible. Let me track my mic cord. What are you talking about, Jay? Uh, they did sacrifice. What do we got? Uh, and they wrath. Oh, they the wrath. So are we just dead? I think we're just dead. Good job, Oppo. 
anyway, this is why I don't really like Bill's deck quite enough. It's a little slow, and it doesn't have a deep enough game for the current standard 2020 meta. Yeah, it's re it just crushes certain annoying decks. Like, if you're just tired of losing to, to like, the bird, you know, the blue-white birds especially, like, you never lose to that deck. <laughs> if you just never yeah. want to, uh, to lose to that. It might actually be the current deck, uh, Raptor. Let's see. Uh, the I don't think I updated it. Yeah, so there it is. Um, so do you want to switch over to that other deck? Yeah, let's um, do that. Blast that one. That's sort of control jank. Hold on a second. Do we... Oh, yeah, we're still in the middle here. So we'll go like this, and then uh, 2020 Harry. Uh, I got Harry. it under Her 2020 Harry, because the one the place that I saw it just listed as Harry's deck. Gotcha. And then <laughs> I think I have that in Stream Decker already, so I'm going to view it. No, uh, Dex, upload new. I'm calling it janky good stuff. Yeah, it's... Since I don't know who Harry is. Uh, well, it's also a diff... I also changed a few things, and uh, their version didn't actually work because theirs was full-on standard. So I had changed gotcha. uh, half a dozen cards. All right. So uh, Stream Decker is now updated with the current list. It really looks like you... uh, looks like Jay's never built a deck before and just put all of his <laughs> rares and mythics in a deck like a little kid. That's what's going on here. <laughs> it does look like this. You really want a mana acceleration. Uh, that seems to be your primary factor, but you have eight of them, so... And an oppa. Yeah, we do need somebody to play against, or Have this doesn't go as sometimes well. Sometimes it'll just hang on this, and then you cancel and restart, and it immediately pairs you. Yeah, I don't know why it's what that's about, but looks like yeah. we got there. Yeah, this as I said, it looks like someone just threw all their cards together, but they overlap and work, and yeah. You see, I mean, if you look at this, this is actually really pretty good. <laughs> uh, Thought Erasure. Anytime somebody plays black and blue by turn two, they 100% have a Thought Erasure every time against me. Like, it's never not happened. So play Glad, the blue black. Yeah, yeah, I have to that. do it against them this time. Twice. And Assassin's Trophy is really strong in this format. Yeah, a lot of people with... Uh, Low low basic counts in some decks, although that's not really what you're talking about. You just think it's the general just, utility just of it. General value. Uh, yep. Let's do this without taking Good. pain, because then we can do it again next turn without taking pain. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, take Probably out to take uh, three. No, 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 take the Empress. Emperor... Empyrean Eagle, you mean? Yeah, Empyrean yeah. Eagle, that thing. <clears throat> Yeah, because they could do it next turn. And then do we want that? That's pretty good against That's really this deck. Pretty. It's for life. But we don't have the land for it quite yet. I mean, we may draw but it. You we, will we have another next. Thought you Erasure. You two more draws and a right. scry on the way. But we need two blue. And so we specifically need to find uh, another blue source. Correct. See you, Raptor. See you, Raptor. Nice chatting with you. So, uh, <clears throat> Rissiart asks, Risen Reef yes. only for its own <laughs> ETB trigger? Basically, yes. <laughs> well, uh, I, I, so that's a lot of jank out there. I um, think, but we have to trophy the blade now, or we're just going to far. And, and also, the Thought Erasure does nothing anymore. Right. Uh, wait till their turn, of course, um, to do it. You have to. You have to pay the life. Um, on the plus side, they didn't hit you. That's a nice top deck, Oppo. Oh. Well, it doesn't change your play. No, still got to do that. It just changes how much of a beating you take this turn. 
and it changes the viability of your dropping out the 2-2 flyer gain of life. Yeah, so I also want to kick this card away now. Yeah, well, that's the blue we needed to make this happen, but I don't know if we're going to get there. Well, well, we still we can't change the plan. This is all we got, right? But yeah, we're actually alive after this turn. Kill the well, eagle with I've... the god pharaoh, and then maybe that gains us enough to keep us alive another turn. Um... <clears throat> yeah, I mean, that's the plan. So you got to block here just to not die. Right, that's the only play, so that's easy. Is this, is this running Cry of the Carnarium? Um, no, it isn't. That would be an out that, if it were, me... but no. I think that that's got enough, us. Uh, yeah. That got it over. No, actually, wait, they're still, uh, yeah, it's, we're dead, because this attacks as a two, so they can attack for five even if we kill the eagle with, uh, uh, and gain our four, so we're dead. Right. We're going to scoop it up. Yeah. They did top deck like a fiend. Yeah, that was, uh, we were in great shape, and then they got back-to-back -back good draws. Yeah, this deck isn't unbeatable by any stretch, but as you see, it's actually played solid that game. Mm -hmm. Let's give it at least one more try here. I mean, I was just so intrigued by it. That's part of why it's up here, because there is something there, I think. Um, well, it turns out when you have a bunch of really efficient magic cards and the mana to cast them, you can f stitch together ways to find victories, you know? Mm -hmm. Seems like that's the kind of strength of the jank pile. It's just like, well, there's something for everything in here somewhere. Just got to string it, put it all together. Uh, no blue yet, but... Oh, there's what you could have needed to draw. You need one of the leaves no and Zen. And now we're going to keep this, and then uh, it's going to be like a creatureless control deck or something. Uh, but that's okay. Yeah. You still got a Craxus when you'll top deck uh, blue somewhere in there. The mana base while janky eventually gets there. Hey, that looks good. Yeah, in fact, let's just uh, yeah, go for it now in case they've got any in hand. We want to see what they have anyway. Yeah, right. Come on, get him. Seeing their hand, oh, knowing his half Oh, the good, metal. they're going to play the other, they're going to play a Spectral Sailor. Oh, sweet. And then we get, and they think, oh, well, they've already done their uh, thing there, so this isn't a... Uh, they're just holding, you didn't instant, get a blue. Instant, unfortunately, but we'll yep. do that. If they get a white mana, then they can, they can go Sailor, Sailor... Untap, Sailor, Plains, Loxodon. And they did it. <laughs> but as sweet as that play was, we have a pretty good one coming up here. And if you can only... Hey, look at that. See, the deck came through for you. That was nice. Uh, we growth spiraling here, or just take? Yeah, I guess we can. I, we got the yeah, life. Yeah, we growth. We got the You've life. Got life. We can wait um, though. They've only got Pegasus and a land. Could do it immediately. All right. Be a pro player and top deck a land. Is that what it takes? That is what it takes <sighs> to be a pro player. I don't have what it takes yet. Well, I like um, you know, Spiral. You could, wait, 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 wait. Oh, do play, this and then Scry first? No, play the other one. Which first, one? Yeah. The, maybe. Right? The Hydroid. Oh, you want the Krasis out? I would play For the Krasis. It blocks. Blocks sure, this dude. trading it. But we never get another thought. Well, this it draws you a, land, a card. Well... Your call. You can do it the other way, but then if you do it the other way, then you can't play the growth spiral either. I'm going to thought to raise your while we can. I, uh, 
Ugh, I you you don't really like don't it? need the card. Yeah. All right. This is going to be I, amazing. Watch. It's going to be amazing. Uh, it's going to be amazing, maybe. Maybe. And if it is, it'll still be there in the next turn. Amazing is just top decking a land. See, that's amazing. Um, it also tells us that the right play was to play the growth spiral, then to play the thought erasure. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we once again have an erasure opportunity, but we could Nissa, and that Nissa, doesn't do much for us though right uh, now. Well, four, four. Nissa does Nissa does a lot for you right here. How's that? What do we what happens Nissa, if we play it? You make a three three mm -hmm. out of one of the breeding pools, mm -hmm. which lets you either chump or not, and then cast your growth spiral as an instant. Mm, it doesn't though, because it has to tap for the same, right? Uh, it, it taps. Uh, no, no, no. You oh, tap it taps for next, next year. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Tap it for blue and. Fair enough. All right, we'll do that. And you might even get lucky, and they attack Nessa, which is even better. And don't forget to swing with the uh, breeding pool. Yeah, because they have their land. Tons. That's cool. I, I've been in locked in my mind that Nissa doesn't allow for uh, two types of mana, but of course that does work. Thanks to the breeding pool's ability to tap for blue while being a forest. Mm-hmm. All right, they're ignoring Nissa. Do you like chumping, or we just um, if we wait, we can have, we we actually have double blocks, right? I think we should uh, wait. Yeah, I think we wait. It's um, harsh, but I think we do wait. Yeah, going going low here. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to growth spiral, yeah. of course. Too many Nissas. Well, and this is her life gain now. Yeah, it might help. And uh, I guess we are going back to. Let's see, what are we casting? And so then, first a reef. Yeah, let's do a reef. And then you can swing. We got some extra mana here. Let's see what we get. Survey says. Okay. Uh, so you can untap a land, drop a so drop your land. Um, untap tomb, I guess this time. Uh, yeah, as long as the forest. Um, drop your gain life land. Play a Nissa. Then do another one. Uh, play a Nissa just for a land. Do another one, and you're winning the race. I said too many Nissas. Maybe not enough Nissas. Maybe not. Uh, we got to keep the funny. Funny, but we keep the one with lower loyalty because it can activate. Right. Get out another 3-3. Three, three. We should just make it out of the bacon. Um, uh, regular forest. Oh, I sorry. Too late. Click the uh, That's okay. fancy one. <clears throat> That's fine, too. We can now, even Thought Erasure. Just, except I'll it would tap our dudes. Nine. I think you may drop another Nissa. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> um, Let's see. What would it? It would uh, leave us with. Uh, yeah, it would leave us with four. You can four to block the you do on. it. Uh, tap your mana carefully so that you can get the thought erasure. Well, let's see. The thought erasure. You're gonna untap a blue. Well, how, um, just make, it it yeah. only adds green though. So how do we? Right. So you need to keep. Um, oh, I uh, see what you're saying. So we go um, like this, like this, and like this, and then 
Um, wait, 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 wait. Then we untap okay. it. Sure, and then you untap. Well, yeah, then you can untap a blue. And then we're just saying we're chumping the loxodon with the reef, right? Absolutely. All right. Well, I'm gonna go full control. Uh, what? What am I supposed to do when I go full ah. control and it auto spends my mana? You tell me what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Besides, say, F you wizards. You gave me, look, you gave me full control, but you didn't give me full control, and now mm. it's all screwed up. Thank you, wizards. Well, just untap a land and... Yeah, we'll at least get our uh, threatened, threatened block on the Loxodon going. Yeah. Oh, sure, now it's letting me do weird full control stuff that doesn't really matter. No punts for... Uh, unless you have a Watsy punt command, Captain. <laughs> no, that is, it is not a punt to go into full control and then have the computer program give you the bird. I think it actually gave you the interplanar beacon, but. <laughs> well, there may have been a lot of different ways that we could have done it, but what I did should have worked if I weren't worked over by the system. All right, so we're going to go ahead and. Oh, does this not? You can block, I think. Why is it not? Um, oh, pro green. Sorry, pro green. That's why. Uh, so. With... Is your creature green? If so, that will kill yeah. you. Well, what? This doesn't have um, trample. Yeah, no, you're blocked. Okay. You're good. Yeah, they wouldn't have let me block at all, because that's the, the reef isn't blocked, right. is, isn't even clickable. Yeah, I didn't think the forest was green. Oh, no. Snuck another one through. I like the deck, though, and that was a funny turn. And, mm -hmm. and note, they shouldn't have had this. Uh, although they did have, let's see, what did they do to give it protection? They had God's willing. So who knows what they actually drew? We don't know if they drew, uh, which, which one they drew there, but certainly it took both God's willing and the, uh, the wings to win that. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to chalk that up as a win. We just got, I, this uh, deck is a work in progress, obviously. Uh, it's just so crazy. I thought it was worth showing. Yeah, uh, no, I like the deck, and I think it uh, there's some there's something there uh, potentially worth messing around with and tuning. Um, people suggest the Joe suggests you go to the options to change manual mana spending, tap lands, get back. Yeah, I I'm just going to be mad at Wizards until they fix it. <laughs> I, it should not be on me to go into the options to work around their uh, their bugs. Uh, not once you press Control. Yeah, like they, they, I just got lied to there, and that's frustrating. So. Uh, but I've been in software long enough to have some forgiveness in my heart as well. It's uh, tough to release bug-free software as long as they continue to make progress and continue to fix that stuff as it comes up. I will continue to be thrilled that we get to play Magic on such a great uh, digital platform. So no big deal. And if and frankly, oh, also, this may be a time to mention this. Like, it's no big deal because we weren't really playing for stakes or anything. But if something like that happens to you and uh, and you were in a paid event... Um, they are Wizards customer service is great. They want you to be happy with your experience. You can, I'm going to uh, paste this link in here. That is the link for uh, reporting bugs. And basically by reporting a bug that happened to you in an event, it basically also sets you up to get compensated for that event and not even like a partial compensation. They give you a, they give you a fresh event. They're just like here, uh, start over again. So uh, as frustrating as bugs can be, at least know that Wizards is there for you to, uh, to, to make it right, at least on your economy, if not your emotions, uh, so should something like that uh, go badly. So I wanted to include Yeah, that. I double down on that because game support, which is Wizards customer support, are incredibly friendly, helpful, and know which way is up. I have never had a bad experience with them, either as a customer or as a co-employee. Yeah, they get the right message from above, which is make people happy, you know, and, and when you empower your employees to uh, uh, just do that, it it works. And also, frankly, like 
worrying about, you know, you go for a reimbursement on your draft event. That's, you know, how many dollars is that? And then ask yourself how much an employee at Wizards of the Coast costs to, to have on hand. They're not interested in taking a magnifying glass to everything you do unless you build up a long dossier of, of problematic behavior. And uh, for the most part, they just want to keep you happy and they want to do it quickly. So they just you just reach out and they're like, here you go. <laughs> we don't want to spend any more time on this. Be happy, my friend. So never forget that if you do encounter a, a game altering bug, uh, Wizards will help you out. Thanks for hanging out with us to Jay, again to, today, Jay. The decks are all super interesting. I'm really, um, one thing I love about having a good mono deck is that for those of us managing free-to-play accounts on days when we're not drafting and we're trying to maintain a 500-point uh, quest to uh, try and flip into a 750 the next day, monocolor decks are the most effective at dodging colors you don't want to cast. And so I love having a great... It, so far, you know, we've had decent monocolor decks in everything but black. Now it's like, now there's a great mono deck in a monocolor deck in every color, it looks like, which is good for free to play, free to play grinders. So, and a lot of fun. I think a healthy metagame needs to have a monocolor deck that's reasonable in each color. Yeah, and they're they're inherently less expensive, so they become entry point decks for uh, for players looking to get into competitive, et cetera, et cetera. So, well, they yeah. also show the creative, which I really feel is important. I mean, it you really get the feel for a color by monocolor. Right. It's like all black. Yep. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, you were doing recursion, taking damage to draw, uh, making the opponent discard all the, you know, cool core black things, mm -hmm. along with hyper aggro small things. Yep. All right. Well, I'm going to look forward to playing some of those decks and maybe mess with the janky one a little bit and try to get to see what I would do with it. There's Yeah, yeah. There's, there's something there. It's fun. All right. Uh, catch for you all later, everybody. Thank you very much. Have a great weekend. You too, Jay. Thanks for hanging. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. And who are we going to raid on our way out? Let's see. Won't be a huge raiding party, but always fun to say hi to people. Uh, how about Mike? He's always drafting. What are you doing, Mike? Yep. He's heading for uh, Mythic number one in Limited. Let's see if he can get there. Thanks again for hanging out. Have a fantastic weekend, and we will see you on Monday. And Tuesday, I'm not going to be around for the morning. Uh, I should mention that uh, Tuesday is going to be the streamer preview, but I'm taking my daughter to college that morning. So I may be on later on Tuesday than I am normally. I may come on in the afternoon or evening, but I will not be on Tuesday morning, unfortunately. So... Uh, it's too bad that it's happening on the uh, preview stream day, but such is life. And uh, I'm going to go have the big life event of sending my first child off to college. Something else flies by, let me tell you. All right, say hi to Mike for me, and we'll catch you next week. Bye.